I'm on my way, my way to a cannon's I'm on my way. On. He didn't think, no, God does not put you in a place where he knows you're going to fail. He has put you in a place where he believes you're going to achieve, you're going to make it. He believes in you already because he has gifted you. He has given you the time that people have lost. He has given you that health that many people don't have. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel, Jessica Machwani. Thank you so much for coming to watch this video. And um, thank you for the new subscribers, the retaining subscribers. May God bless you all. I am so thankful. And um, we have got so many days, so many weeks, so many months that we have um, ahead of us in BCA. And I want my videos for this month to be um, consistent about building ourselves to get ready for the entire year today I want to talk about um, why we should not doubt ourselves why we should just be the first person who believes in ourselves it is important for you to know your worth accept your worth and know how much effort you need uh, to put in for you to get to that place where you believe you should be first of all you should believe the bible says that you're a creation of god whatsoever that you feed your mind in terms of whatsoever that you watch whatsoever that you read well whosoever that you are company with those are the people those are the things that are going to make your character change your attitude and build you and because you are going to be built in that way in that sense you are a create everything that you want in your life you can ask for someone to assist you and when you pray to god to help you 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 are asking him to assist you in your life to take control of your life because you are a creator of your life now as you are creating like i mentioned you only ask for someone to help you if you don't ask for help it will be just like that it will stay the way it is because you can't simply get something without asking it that's why the bible says ask and it shall be given nor can it shall be the door shall be open unto you so this means that you have to take action about something almost everything that happens um underrating yourself simply means that you are letting somebody else or something else to take over you to take control of your life because you simply don't know or rather you don't believe in yourself so if you believe in yourself if you are going to be that person who says i am going to achieve i am definitely going to do something that is going to help me to be successful along with my friends along with my my family then that means that that is going to be what what will happen they say that reach for the sky so that when you would have if you were going to fall you at least fall on clouds and it is definitely how your attitude should be definitely dream big so dream the dream that you know is going to elevate not only you but many people along with you do you remember that achievement that you just made that nobody else has made yet do you remember your name being called by somebody who is well known and then they appreciated you do you remember that time when you felt like you were going to just end up giving up but then you ended up making it and making yourself proud and other people proud in the process 
don't doubt in yourself because there is more that is coming in your life that you are holding yourself against simply because you feel like ah it belongs to somebody else this position doesn't feel like mine if it doesn't feel like yours make sure that it is yours you don't have to just neglect yourself like that who is going to come and believe in yourself if per- first of all you don't put yourself in that position where you are able to do it god came to you gave you this life gave you this time he didn't think no god does not put you in a place where he knows you're going to fail he has put you in a place where he believes you're going to achieve you're going to make it he believes in you already because he has gifted you he has given you the time that people have lost he has given you that health that many people don't have so it means that you should know your worth know that god has put something in my life i should definitely add up to it this is definitely going to go far because if i was going to go nowhere i wouldn't have been somewhere like here all right so let's take a short break and uh, we'll come back with more wake up i cannot and i can never so you're you're basically what you're saying is you're still together yeah we're staying together no no you are still together yeah, I'm still together because I love that person. Without him and nothing. I'm with, without anything. her, her, without her. Without her. Right. I cannot do anything without her. Right. So I want to be with her so that I can be with Jesus loved me, Jesus loved me. It's the greatest thing I've learned in the They are weak. He, come on, we're big. He asked Jesus, sing it out. He asked Jesus. Loves me. That's the truth of the matter. Sing, yes, Jesus. Welcome back beautiful people so glad that you would uh, stay tuned and I hope that you enjoyed the break I just want to remind you that um, God's time is never wrong and God's time is um, not bad so God is good in our bad and our good times because in his time it is always a good time that's why you hear people or that's why we say God is good all the time because in everything that we go through there is something that is good about it just find it look for it don't find flaws because when you just pick on flaws about what's happening in your life you will not see the significant of what you are passing through you are not going to see the significant of that moment of you to learn from that is why you need to take your time look around what is there that is being built about you is it your temper is it your pride is it something that you just need to lay your fingers on and dig it out sometimes we get to have a cleanup in the house where we clean all the corners of the house but then there are some times where you know, okay, clean this pot. Maybe it's not that dirty, so I shouldn't even try to move the chairs around or do much about it because I know it's clean. But every month, at least once a month, or if it's not twice, it is important for you to dig out everything. And it's the same with us. Dig out something in your heart. Dig out something in your mind. What is there? What is obstructing you from just reaching to that better place that you should reach what is it so when you have found something that you need to work on don't feel embarrassed and don't don't even get to 
be in that state where you say um that's me that's just how i am you know and i have been like that for a long time you shouldn't when you get to find yourself being a character which is uh, full of pride or somebody gets to tell you constantly about it and you even find out about yourself like on your own that this indeed i should work on it then say i can work on it and i will because it's not for that person it's you you will not go together with that person who will ever correct you you will go alone now imagine you find somebody or you find yourself in a place where it would have been all good and better if you worked on that character that you were advised to work on but then you find yourself to be in this place whereby you can't even manage to take control or hold of that change that you needed to take it will not be bad for them it will be bad for you it will not be their loss it will be yours that is why it is important for you to just look at something that you have seen that i need to work on and work on it there and then don't wait take your time there and then to do it because it will not benefit anybody else the most but you it is all for your own good and your own benefit you just want to be helped and then you go to the bible to find help you should be happy because very few people get to reach to an old age where they even advise young people to read their bible get to interact with themselves personally and get to just be at peace with themselves in everything and i do pray that each every person live to not wish they had changed things when they were younger but they will live to enjoy the old age that they will have i pray for each and every person that gets to be watching videos that they may find messages which will help them to keep on living uplifting them and then help them with people around them because there is no person who is an island you all need people we all need people and that is why we need to be at peace with ourselves to help other people as well thank you so much for watching this video and coming to my youtube channel um take care of yourselves but most importantly take care of each other don't forget to watch the video that is coming after this and then the prayer thank you pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful, special king or queen on the other side of the screen. Lord God, I pray that you remind them that no weapon formed against them shall be able to prosper, Lord God, and that you are always with them, and greater is he that is in them than he that is in the world, Lord God. I pray that you give them peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord Jesus. I pray that you give them confidence like never ever before. Give them self-love like never ever before, Lord God, and give them joy. Your son, Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed and prosperous day.